make a crunch wrap casserole. You're gonna take fly, five flour tortillas, put them in a nine by 13 grease dish, and you need to keep it where you can have them come up on the sides. This is a um, little tricky, but mm -hmm. we're gonna do our best. Okay, now that you've got your five flour tortillas, mm -hmm. you're gonna take some sharp cheddar cheese, two cups, put it on the bottom. Holy moly. Oh, we might have to put this a little bit back in there. But it's supposed to be cheesy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've got your cheese in there, take you two or three tomatoes, have them chopped up. I'll we'll put our tomatoes in here. These here are some homegrown tomatoes. You grew them? I didn't. Oh, someone did? But a neighbor did. Oh, nice. He gave them to me and they were tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay, got your tomatoes. Now you're gonna take one cup of sour cream and they said put it in a plastic bag so you could kind of pipe it on here where it doesn't just have to come out in clumps. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna go through here and... I like that, that gets it more even distribution. Yes. I had not thought about that. I was glad that the recipe gave us a tip. Nice. Now we'll take it back. How much there. sour cream do we need? Holy well, it moly. It said a cup, that's what I've measured out. That looks good. Yep, okay. Now we got our, okay, got our sour cream. Now you are going to take your tostadas that you buy and you need eight of them. You're going to set that down on top of this. I feel like six is going to do it. I think six is too. Maybe they had a bigger dish. Maybe they had, had a 14 by 20 or something. Maybe so. We're going to do with six. There we go. Now you're going to take a can of, this says gourmet nacho cheese. Uncle, it's, Uncle Rico's. It's probably like the nacho cheese you get on the baseball park nacho yeah. stand. Which isn't like the highest quality, but it does the job. Yes. Have you ever at the ballpark ate it on a hot dog? Not ever on a hot dog, but I've definitely ate it on some some chips. Well, now I've ate it on a hot dog, and it's delicious. Mm. Or a barbecue sandwich. Oh, yeah. Just spread it out here. Okay. Now you are going to take your... It's a pound of ground beef that mm -hmm. I put taco seasoned onions. We're gonna dump this right in the, no, we're gonna dump it all over there. Yep. That's a lot of meat too, so. Yeah, but This is gonna be a thick boy. That's only a pound, but. Now let's say you put some nice onions and I stuff did. in there too. Mm -hmm. The top, it tells you what to do. Uh, put a medium onion in the taco seasoning. This is the Just the recipe, folks. Had it ready for us. Right here. Now we are going to take one flour tortilla, uh -huh. set it down here in the middle. Then you fold those two in. Just fold these in like this. <laughs> <laughs> I think our boy is We just... need a little more on the edges. Hers <laughs> is a thick boy. Okay. Well, that butter that it has on that recipe, I guess that's... Maybe I help lay it down. Help lay it put, down, yeah. yeah. Let me see if I... You know... Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There we yeah. go. So, that butter that you melted... Our crunch wrap is going to be a thick, crunchy yeah. wrap. They say thick is in. Mm-hmm. So... All right, you'll get the gist of how it tastes. Yeah. And we're gonna bake this at 350 for how many minutes, Charles? Looks like we're doing it for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, okay. So now, and then we got some guacamole to top it off with when we get done. All right. 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm like, the only thing I see different, uh -huh. I wonder if I wouldn't put a little bit of maybe some uh, Kobe Jack or some kind yeah, of cheese on right top. on top. Yeah, yeah, where them tortillas aren't so... Um, you need two cups of sour cream. Put that in a large bowl here. Mm. It's about two cups. Then we're gonna take one can cream of chicken soup. Mm. 
That bowl is looking trippy. It is. You're going to take two cups of cheddar cheese, which is, this is a four cup bag, so we're gonna take half of that. One stick of butter melted. It's cooled off. Mm -hmm. Then a 32 ounce package of shredded hash browns. I'm gonna, yeah, no, that's fine. Just don't yeah. Know. Okay. A piece of burnt there. And we're just gonna take this and mix it all together. This is a potato casserole you can mix up for maybe a Labor Day. Mm -hmm. And we got the recipe here. We actually changed the name. Yeah. So. It was Funeral Potatoes, but we don't like that name. We're going to call it Potato Casserole. It's trying to, it's trying to be uh, blurry on me. There it is. If you, yeah, if you hold it up, it seems like if you set it down, you can take a better shot. Yeah, that it. looks good right there. Okay, now you're going to take this and put it in a greased 9 by 13 dish. We got this cutie Pioneer Woman one. Little Roxy here waiting for a bite. Yeah, she don't realize that she's not getting a bite. Though. Yeah, and just flatten them out in your dish, and we're gonna add a little something to the top. Just move that to the side. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to take one fourth cup of butter. Oh, okay. Pour it in a little dish with about three cups of crushed up corn flakes. You're gonna mix this together and sprinkle it on top. Now corn flakes don't have any sugar or anything on them, Not right? corn flakes, no. You don't have the sugar on you buy the frosted flakes. Right, Which I don't know if sugar would be good with it, right? Oh no, I wouldn't think so either. I would. I think you need to, you could use, I would think, Ritz crackers. Yeah. But Ritz crackers and is going to make it, mm-hmm. I didn't add any extra salt because my butter was salty. Mm -hmm. So now we are going to take this and sprinkle it on the top. And that just gives it a nice little crunch as well. It does. It looks really good. Okay, now we're gonna bake this at 350 for about 42 minutes. Okay. Wait a minute, would you? Okay, here's our Whoa. potato casserole. Those are good and crunchy. Those did look good. I'm gonna go for right here. Look at that. Look at that, perfect. Cheese whiz, we only need a half of this jar. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make some festive potatoes. A half a cup of whole milk, half a cup of butter or one stick of butter. Okay. Cream of chicken. I oh, thought for sure okay. you would know since. Um, I mean, I know, but our audience needs to know what our ingredients are. That was my bad. Cream of mushroom soup. Mm. So you got five items that you're mixing up here. Get it all mixed up, butter melted, cheese melted. And then we'll start our next. I have to say, this does look. not look appetizing. Well, no, but it will. Okay. Just gotta get it, let it get mixed up here. Let that butter melt. Did you ever use the cheese whiz that you like squirt with all crackers and stuff? Oh yes, I don't think it's called cheese whiz though, bud. What is that one called, cheese? I think it's just. Um, I'm pretty sure that's called cheese whiz. No, I don't think it's... I'm pretty sure. Oh, it may be. I, yes, we did. Could you squirt... Or is it called cheese squirt? I think it's called cheese squirt. We'll have to look that up. All right. It, is it called cheese squirt or cheese whiz, y'all? This is looking pretty good. Yeah, it is going to look good now. And so, we're just letting that cook. What do we need to do while we, it's... While it's cooking, you can chop up... We chopped up some potatoes. Four potatoes. Dice uh -huh. them up. They've been washed. Mm -hmm. Put them in a 9 by 13 pan. And these are uncooked, but they are chopped, right? Yes, yes, they're chopped up, mm -hmm. they are uncooked. We're gonna add a four ounce little jar of pimentos. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna sprinkle them in here. Love the color. And then maybe half a cup of green onions. Okay. 
I'm gonna sprinkle them in there. Looks like a Christmas cake. It does. All the red and green. Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna set that there till we get our liquids here mm -hmm. mixed. Action. Okay, we've got all of this combined and warmed up. All right, doesn't look, doesn't look too bad. No, uh-uh. So now we're gonna take this and pour it on top of our potatoes okay. and pimentos and green onions. These are festive potatoes. Interesting. Okay. That's probably good, Kim. You got plenty in here. There's so much goop in it. Mm, that makes it even better. Mm -hmm. now are you, do you mix or you just you kind of spread it? Well, you mix, you kind of mix it because what you're gonna do is put it, you're gonna cover it with lemon foil mm -hmm. and put it in the oven 350 for an hour, but you're gonna have to oh. You know, stir it frequently. Oh, okay. So the potatoes get real good and done. Okay. So we'll make sure we get... Okay, now we're going to cover it with the aluminum foil to keep the steam in there to, to cook the potatoes even more. It's going to be 350 for one hour. Okay. I don't have nobody in my way here. Okay. All right. We got our festive potatoes. They do look festive. Looking nice. Okay, now that, sir, get out of my potatoes. Oh, get out of there. I'm excited we're, to try it. We're not done yet. Now we're going to add in some real crumbled bacon. Mm. Can't mm. beat that. You need to have this little extra tile before you try them. Kind of reminds me of those beef jerkies they put in those little pouch things. Oh, uh, like the fake chewing them? Uh huh. Oh, okay. All right. Now it's time for you to try it. Now, finally? Now you mm. can, yes. It smells like uh, potato soup. Mm hmm. Good. It tastes pretty similar to potato soup, and I love potato soup. There we go. Got some Alfredo sauce here. It's a 15 ounce jar. And we've got a half a cup of chicken broth. We're going to pour that in here. We'll get all of our Alfredo out of there. Put that up a little bit. Now you want to take it and pour in a grease nine by 13. Pour a little bit on the bottom just to have something a little bit like that. Now we're gonna just move this around. Okay. We are going to take four cheese ravioli we're going to put half of this in here for now. Mm -hmm. okay, I think that's about half. Mm -hmm. Just kind of spread it out a little bit. Last time I did this, I got bigger raviolis. I kind of like the smaller mm -hmm. ones. Okay, now you're going to put your Alfredo aside. Get your bag of spinach, about four ounces and take one third cup of basil pesto. You're gonna mix the basil and the spinach together. Mm. Just get her coat all on there. Okay, now you're gonna take half of this mm -hmm. and put it on your ravioli. It smells good. It does, I didn't realize that basil pesto was such a good smell. You can put it on sandwiches and everything. It's really good. Well, I had been to places that did sandwich shops that did it, but mm -hmm. I had never done it. But it mm -hmm. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. It's something I will keep stocking now. Okay, now that you've got that done, mm -hmm. you're going to add some mozzarella cheese. And then you're gonna start the process over again. Put the rest of your ravioli. Mm -hmm. Some Alfredo. Do we do the whole bit now? Yes. Nice. Make sure we get all that Alfredo because mm -hmm. that's a good stuff. Mm -hmm. It won't be dry on us. And these are from the raviolis from the refrigerated section. I'm sure you could use the fr frozen ones oh, too. Oh, sure, but. yeah. Okay, the rest of our spinach. And 
and if you, some people won't like spinach, but it really tastes good if you doctor it up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the rest of your bag of your mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna cover it. And you got off the block, right? Yes. Supposed to be a little bit healthier for you. Mm -hmm. I think they don't use that wax or whatever. Yes, that's why. I'm... And you're gonna cover it to bake it for about 25 minutes. Okay. Then we'll uncover it and put some Parmesan on. Mmm. Parmesan. Okay. Cover this up. The oven is at 375 for 25 minutes. Mm. Oh. Doesn't that look good? That looks so good. Okay, let's see how it is. Mm -hmm. Let's go right here. Oh yeah, it's got a good amount of Alfredo sauce. Would you like to try it? No, you got it, you try it. Okay, make sure I got my spinach and everything. Mm -hmm. We have let it cool though. Yeah. Mm. So good. It's <laughs> so delicious. Mm. There we go, folks.